Hello, how are you? I'm hoping everybody can see this. Let me know if anybody is here. I'll give you a few seconds. I'm just getting my stuff um, handy so I'm not running around. <laughs> I'm turn some lights on. This is Joanne Perry with uh, Stampin' Up. And I was on here earlier showing you a paper pumpkin uh, kit. So now I'm going to show you our regular products, stuff that you can see in our catalogs and on our website. So I've decided to come and create a birthday card. And that will be part of the um, giveaway draw on Friday. If you didn't read that post yet, just go back at the previous post. Oops, sorry here. Uh, just go back and you can see uh, how you can earn a ballot. And I'll have some prizes to give away. Uh, this uh, event is going on for the week. And every day there's different, um, there's two different consultants or demonstrators for different companies. And today I'm on here and the other lady is from U.S. Born. I don't know if it's, they name it like that, U.S. Born um, Books or Us Born Books. I did have her name written. Oh, Judy, um, Judy Brander. So, um, yeah, so check it out too. She's got some cool um, books for kids and I just, I don't have little small kids, but... Uh, check it out you'll see what she's got to offer and for now I am here so first of all this is my website and my email if you have any questions or you can always private message me and if you missed the paper pumpkin video you can go back as well to watch the other Facebook live I did the um, there's a special link to sign in to subscribe to this package and it was $30 a month plus tax. Now, we're going to make a card. And I'm going to show you right from scratch. Um, first of all, let me just show you, give you an idea of the cards that I've made before um, with my stuff here. And I, like I said earlier, I usually do classes in person. But with COVID, I haven't been able to offer any classes uh, at my house or in your homes. But... After this is all, you know, fixed, that it's finally over with, I hope so. <laughs> hope that we'll see that day. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to come do a party with your friends or you can invite them here in my classroom. Uh, until then, we're going to do takeout classes and we're also doing like online events. I have a Zoom uh, meeting that we go on there like you can purchase a kit and pick it up and then we meet on zoom to create together tomorrow night i'm doing a stamping bingo event so i got 10 ladies that we're gonna play bingo on zoom and in between the games the um the games yeah uh we're gonna create a card so anyways so this is what I've got so far of cards I made with the newest catalog. Let's see this. I'm going to try to bring it up close. I think you can see it here. Hi, Christine. And hi, Tammy. <laughs> we can make some uh, masculine cards. Let's see. I've got this one that I've done a few cards with it. I'm just take it out. Like that. So it opens up. This was actually the card I made for my husband. <laughs> uh, his birthday was in December. I And as you can see, I don't throw them out, of course. And if anybody makes a card and sends it to me, I don't throw them out neither. They're made with love. Hi, Deanne. Glad you could join us again. So this... Like everything that you see on here, it's the products from our mini catalog. It's a seasonal catalog. Um, let me just show you. Right here. 
So it's well suited sweet. And what it is is a stamp set and then it's a set of framelits like dies that we use with our die cutting machine. We just put the paper um, under these pieces here and it cuts out the paper. So as you can see the tie, it's over here. This collar is over here. And then the suit itself, it's this piece here. And then the V for under it, like this is glued on there. So it was pretty fun, like you'll, you would learn. If you're new, you'd never done this before, you don't have to worry. We will start you out with the basics at first, that's for sure. And um, that's why I'm gonna do a card today, just to show you. But uh, yeah, let me show you some of the cards. I made this one, a Valentine's Day card. So to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. Thinking of you card. This one was, see, and we can go on Pinterest when we know we have a name of a stamp set and we need some ideas. We can go on Pinterest and enter that name and then we can see all the IDs on there. So Jennifer Cotton made this one. I just changed the ribbon because I didn't have like the purple ribbon at the time. Uh, this was cased right from the catalog. So you're one in a million. Thank you for your kindness. And these little dragonflies, we stamp it and then we use our punch to punch it out so I don't have to cut out the images. Uh, sending lots of happy. It's a special fold. So I know um, Diane and Tammy have um, are customers of mine, so I know that they already know about Stampin' Up!, but anybody in here, uh, are you new? Is it something that you'd be interested in? Let me know. Ask me questions, anything. And uh, if I don't answer you right out, right now during the video, uh, I will go back and look at all the messages. So this too, case it right from our catalog. Our, our catalog has a lot of um, ideas on there. So even our retired books, I don't throw them out usually, so if you want any, just let me know. I do have some here. I haven't uh, went through uh, my stash. This is wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Like that. And this is all like the same paper that we used. Um, it comes free with a $60 order during the promotion that we have right now. Whoops. <laughs> this one here. I like the shimmer on that. So if you, uh, you would like to get into this kind of hobby or this business, because you can be a teacher too. Um, some people join just to be a demo, like a hobby demo. They don't want to have customers they just want to order whenever they want to and that's okay so you we have a promotion for that too right now um but this paper flower and field it's 12 by 12 and it's got a bunch of different flowers and it's all double-sided so this pack is part of our celebration promotion so for every 60 dollar purchase you get to choose a free gift from the mini catalog. There's a, a tiny book. Let's see if I have it handy still. Yep, right there. It's called Celebration. It's good till February 28th. And you choose one of these products for free for every $60 order. Um, all right, so let's begin. So I'm gonna go right from scratch. I wanna explain what Stampin' Up! is as I go. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be using this stamp set, which is called Approaching Perfection. So if you go on Pinterest, you can type that in in your search bar. You'll find all kinds of cards that they made with this stamp set. And stamp set is like this. It, that's how it comes when you purchase it. You can either get the red rubber that has a foam underneath, or you can get them as a photopolymer stamp set. Um, so it all depends on the image, like the stamp set, some are like this and some are the photopolymer. Let me just grab one to show the difference. Like 
This one here, the quite curvy, it is a see-through. We call it photopolymer. So you would just remove it and then adhere it on our acrylic blocks. And then you ink it up on your ink pad and then you just stamp it on your image. It would make that image on your paper. And you just take it off. Well, you, you clean it. So if you have like a... Um, oh, what do you call that? Like we have our cleaners, but... Uh, <laughs> I got a blank. <laughs> mm, if Anik is on here, she knows her name because she gave me one and then uh, Stampin' Up! came out with their own. Let me just see these shimmy, uh, chamois. It's a chamois. So if you have that, you just need to um, put it, run it under the water until it's all uh, damp, and then you just rub it on there and let it dry, and let this dry overnight to uh, just air dry, and that cleans your stamps. But we have the other cleaner too. It's like, a, it's our stamping scrub. And that one, we have this little stamping mist. And you spray it on there. And then you would, you know, rub your stamp on this. And then on that side, you dry it. And that's what I normally use. But when I go away to, to uh, like our weekend retreats or stuff, I like bringing my chamois. It's uh, less stuff to, to carry around. So yeah, so you know, and these ones are, did you know that our rubber stamps are all made by Stampin' Up! directly? They don't uh, have it manufactured by another company. These ones are, but all our red ones are made by Stampin' Up! directly. So we're going to use the Happy Birthday one. So it comes with a little sheet like this you can throw that out and what I do is I keep it in my stamp set like this so it's clinging to the back and when you add, mount it so you take this off as well and here's a tip that I just saw not too long ago on the east a good way to mount them on because we have these sticker sheets that you put on the back of your stamps. Um, on one side, you see there's a slit on each image right here. So you would take the whole thing off, pull it out with the sticker, where the word is, and then just use one of your acrylic blocks, stick it on there, and then remove these where it's cut in the, the middle. There. Take the other side off. And then put your stamp down and you see the shape of it. You know it's gonna go that way. So I'm just gonna put my head in here. Hold on. Don't wanna scream in the camera neither. <laughs> and you see like the, the cling around it? It's the exact same size as the rubber in the back. So you just want to get it right on it. That way when you're stamping, you'll know that your word is going to be straight. Okay, like that. Press on it and then just remove it. And you've got your stamp and it's ready to go whenever you want to make a card. So this is the one I'm going to use on the card right now. So you put it on there. When you're done with it, you clean it and you just remove it and then you put it back in your stamp set, just in there. Okay, these ones have different things that you can stamp inside your card too, so that's fun. Let's remove some stuff to make some room to stamp. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that back on here, put it aside, and now I'm gonna show you the paper that we're gonna use and how I cut it. So I told you I was gonna use our um, flower paper, the flower and field designer paper. If you wanna make cards like we're gonna do, 
This is just a, a grid sheet. It's uh, 12 by 12, the same size as our paper. If you cut it at four inch square, so at four inch, you cut that strip, cut that strip, and then you turn it around and you do that side, you'll have nine squares. And with those nine squares, you can uh, make just a, the um, note card size, which you can still put in a regular size envelope, or you can uh, do nine split cards like I'm gonna show you. And this was a, an, an idea I found from Patty Bennett. She's a demonstrator in the US. And I thought it was so cute. So let's take this paper. Like you see, I've already cut these. That's one of these squares. Oh, maybe this not this is not one of them. Hold on, let me just measure it. Got to make sure I use the right piece. Oh no, that was for another project that I had in there. <laughs> Let's see. I know I've cut some. There's that one there. Actually, I'm gonna use this one here. Oh wait, I I like this one. Let's do that one first. Okay. So, this is our paper trimmer. I don't have a lot of room because I have my phone stand right there, but I'm trying not to, uh, I want you to see everything I'm doing here. And I'm going to try to keep an eye on the comments, but sometimes the computer freezes, so let's just, just going to refresh it here for a minute. I like seeing who's online. There you go. <laughs> Found it. Okay. So Tammy says, oh, I want one. Not sure what you saw. <laughs> Um, if you mess, if you uh, can specify if it's the cleaner, I don't know which product that you saw me do use, um, but I'll uh, I can answer you after. So at four inch, so your our paper trimmer goes up to seventeen inches. We would just open up this ruler, this guide here, and it goes all the way to seventeen inches. We don't normally have any paper that long, so I never you go that way, but we do have 12 by 12, so it's good to have. And I'm just gonna put it at four inches. We have a gray piece on it. Don't know if you can see it. This gray, yeah, right here. This one is not to cut, it's to make a folded line in it. We'll use it after. But then we have the dark gray, and that's what gonna what's gonna cut the paper. There you go. See, so that's four by twelve. Now I'm gonna cut it down to four again, so that we have a square. This is a demonstration I was planning on doing tomorrow night too for the bingo event if we have time. So. If we don't, then I'll uh, just tell them to come watch this video. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a split card. And I'm going to show you a trick here. You just want to cut a line through here. So you want a little bit up there and wider on the bottom. So from here to just an idea. I'm going to put it in my trimmer. So you're seeing here. Uh, yeah, I think you're in the screen here. Just gonna leave about this much space and on the bottom, I'm gonna leave it a little wider. And it doesn't really matter, you're not measuring anything. This is just eyeballing. So our four by four is like that. And um, we need the white paper. Let's put this aside. This is our basic white cardstock and it's a eight and a half by 11. If you want to make two cards, all you need to do is cut 
this in half, so 11 inch divided by two is five and a half. So I'm gonna put it on my trimmer right there at five and a half. Then got two card bases, and then we're gonna use half of that is at four and a quarter. So I'm putting it at four and a quarter. Now I'm just gonna score it. It's just making that line in the middle, as you can see, where you're gonna fold your card in half. So it's got like the little line there. Uh, wait, where is my little tool, my bone folder? Hmm, maybe that's what fell on the floor wall. Yep, it is. <laughs> I heard a little bing. Okay, I'm just gonna use that. It makes a nice crisp fold. And the other half, I can do it as well. Four and a quarter. And there you go. Just to join the corners. And like I said in the other video, if you don't have one of these, if you're um, folding cards, just use the back of a spoon. Put this away. I think that's all we need for this. And so we got our card base. Let's whisp, well, whisper right. Oh, I didn't fold that right. Hold on. I don't like it when it sticks out longer on one side. That's what happens when you don't have your head right on top of the table. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So the two pieces we have are now bigger than originally because you're stretching it out like this. Cool, eh? Now, the happy bird. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna glue these down. I'm gonna use our Tombow glue. Like I said, I do love working with the liquid glue because it gives you some movement if you don't have it on straight. So you always try to keep same amount of space around the three sides here. And put this one on the bottom. Just like that. You can still move it. And there you go. And now we're gonna stamp a greeting. So I said we were gonna do happy birthday. And I went with one of the colors in the paper. Like I said before, our paper coordinates with our cardstock and our ink pads. We have the ink pads are the same color. Kind of um, hard to believe that that's the same uh, color as this by the look of the cover, but you'll see. So I'm putting ink on that. Put my head in here. Press, and it's better not to wiggle because if you did get ink on the side of the rubber, you'll get it on your card. Okay, so it's just gonna dry and uh, dry a little lighter. Yeah, so if I wanted to do that color, I have the ink pad for that color, which is so saffron. We have the orange. And now I'm gonna show you our punches. Oh, the stamp cleaner, okay. <laughs> Hello, Denise. Yeah, you do need the, a stamp cleaner if you're gonna be stamping. It comes in handy. So I'm using some of the white cardstock 
just scraps. And these are punches. So we have two daisy punches. There's two different sizes, as you can see. This is our medium one, and this is our regular one. And um, the price of these is, the large one is 24, and that one is 22. And it also coordinates with a stamp set. Our Daisy Lane stamp set. This is $34. So it's got all these in there. And with that, you can stamp this on white. I'll, I'll do a demo here. Because I'm not going to stamp for the card that I'm making. But I can show you at least the um, how nice it is that you don't have to you know fussy cut around your images so we'll take this the smaller daisy and um, let's see let's do it with the so saffron ink you stamp it on your paper can't see there I'll do two of these. Tant qu'à faire. And these are reinkable, so you you can buy ink refills to uh, when they start drying out. They do last a long time before you even need to draw to uh, refill them. But we do have this the um, um, ink refills to put them in. Now our punches. So as you saw, it, there's a little lock here, so you can mount you know store them standing up or you can stack them on top of each other the same sizes because we have different sizes of punch so they're easily uh, stackable and uh, but you unlock it like that and i always when i'm stamping i'm punching out an image i like seeing the back of it you have to you have to because you need to align it and you just look at the image and you see where it looks like it's straight you you'll you can see better than me because I'm not in, in on top, and you squeeze it a little bit just to hold the paper so you're not moving, and then you press it with both hands, and there's your little daisy. I'll do it with that one too. I'll do it this way so I can see. And there. Okay. Now. And then you just lock it up. And then I'm going to take the big punch, the big daisy. And I'll punch out just plain white. You always try to save your paper. Try to go as close as you can. Oops. There. that so you got two of these and what you do is just stick them on top of each other I like using our glue dots let's see you want to put it in the center in the back so you don't have to touch the glue that's there you just align it press on it and then remove it the glue is in the back and Gonna center just off. Um, don't know how you'd say this, but <laughs> allowing it that it's in the middle of the other petals. There you go. And there's a little daisy. You can even curl up the uh, petals. I should have done that before I stuck them together, but. Gives you an idea. I'll just do a few of them on there. And so it gives dimension to them. Like that. We have even a little shimmer brush. It's called the, um, oh, a little blank here. What's it? This oh, wink of Stella. <laughs> it's written right there, wink of Stella brush. 
that, and that gives it just a little shine to the center. All right, that's it for that one. So we're gonna take in the bigger ones and I'm gonna do the curling before I put them together. You see how easier it is? Like that. And the same thing, you can use a glue dot and then put them inside. There. And for the center of this one, I am going to punch out a piece of the So Saffron paper. And where did I put my little circle punch? Oh, right there. This was an oldie, a uh, half inch. If you're, you've been stamping for a while, you probably have one of these. <laughs> and that's just like that. We'll take this, do the same thing, just stick it to the center, and you got your daisy. I'm going to add some shimmer to the center as well. And there you go. Okay, now the card. All we need to do is stick that right here. And voila. There's your birthday card. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Oh, I see that we have somebody else on here. Joanne LeVeg. Hello. We just finished a, a birthday card. So, um, how long have we been on here? Does, don't want to take up the, the group here. I could make a, another quick one. What do you think? Anybody wants, uh, anybody in there want to see one with maybe the, the small daisy? I can do a second card. Super cute. I love it. Thank you, girls. Yeah, you want me to make one with the other piece that we have already? And we already got the daisy punched out. May as well, huh? I'll try to be quick. Because uh, I'm not sure if uh, Jenny wants to jump in here to uh, do a Facebook Live. I don't know if she does them. But um, I'll do this quickly. Let's just get another piece of paper. Actually, I think I had one cut, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to cut this one down. We'll use that one. Cut it down at four by four. And so that way, if anybody else just joined in, you can see what we did. So my four by four, I just, like I said, if, if that's how you want your card, it's like this, you'd want it cut from that angle down here. So just cut across. So put it in your trimmer. And I... Like I said, I don't measure it. You don't have to, you can even go, um, um, like I was saying, a little bit here and the larger part there, but you can go the other way too. But I prefer this way. <laughs> Let's cut this down. So if anybody in here um, are not in my Facebook group or and you want to learn more about Stampin' Up and see different videos I do on there too, um, yeah, go go uh, send a request to join my group. It's a Stampin' Joe VIP group. I also have a p business page, same things. It's uh, Stampin' Joe, but there's no G at the end of Stampin' because there's another demonstrator. <laughs> we always get uh, messages. Oh, there's a, I got some of that previous ink on there. I'll flip it the other side. Uh, yeah, there's a demonstrator in Quebec who her nickname is Stampin' Joe too, but she has a G 
at the end. I even get my uh, some e-transfers from customers sent to her. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a mess. It can be confusing. But mine is just stampinjo at gmail.com. She has a G in the middle. Of course, we, our blog is similar. She's got Stamping Joe. And my page is Stampin' Joe. So we, uh, but she's Jose and I'm Joanne. <laughs> but she's, uh, she's pretty honest. She's always told me that uh, I, she had something for me. <laughs> uh, that's nice. I made a friend I didn't even know. <laughs> Never met her, but um, yeah, she seems nice. <laughs> there you go. So we're just gluing that on the bottom. And then let's see. I, w I had another stamp set. I'll, uh, this one here. I got it in English and French. I'm going to make a French one this time. So, c'est ta journée profite ça. And... I've already got this mounted. Blocks are, they need to be clean. They're getting blurry. <laughs> okay, c'est ta journée. So my little daisy should fit right in there. Okay, I'm gonna use black ink this time. Put my head in, and I think I'm straight. There, isn't that cute? I love it, love it. And then we'll put this little flower there. It's adorable. And let's just use our little glue dot. So if you're new and you'd like to get into stamping up, you know, start making your cards from home yourself. Um, if you feel creative, I would suggest to go to start out with a stamp set that has a coordinating punch. It's way much faster. So you, you would need to uh, get a paper trimmer to cut your paper. And... Um, you choose a stamp set that has a punch with it, or punches, there's so many of them. Let me just see here. As you can see, different kinds of punches. We even have a snowman. We have a snowman uh, stamp set. Got the, the dog and the cat. Umbrellas, they all coordinate with certain stamp sets. There's even one with the whales, as you can see that card here. Mm, excuse me. We have the tulips. Uh, we have hearts for Valentine's. So if you, you know, if or actually uh, if you need a catalog and you're uh, you're in town, if you live in Moncton, just let me know. I can drop one off next time I'm out. I can drop it in the front door, on your front step. I mean, and um, <laughs> not gonna go indoor. <laughs> um, I they are free, but uh, if you don't live in town and I, you want me to mail it to you, there's just a postage uh, fee. Um, you can do that, but you can also just look at all the uh, products online. I can send you the link to our catalogs. So these are the two cards we just did, and they were easy to make, right? So you can, if you even do that, if you order um, these two punches. Uh, that would be 40 some dollars and I don't know maybe a stamp set you'd be at your sixty dollars and you would get this paper for free this pack of paper because of celebration every sixty dollars you get something free and every hundred twenty dollars you get to choose two or you can choose one of our higher um, value items so this is where you would choose from Actually, Diane, who's on here, um, she just received this, and she sent me a picture of the cards she made with it. They were really nice. So with a $100, $120 order, you get two price, two of these. My gosh, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> it's getting late. You can get two products for free. And this one here, it's a higher value stamp set, which is very nice. It's uh, the one that I did the cards 
Now this one, this one, and this one. It's got the butterflies, the hummingbird, and the flower, and all the words in it too. It's a really nice stamp set. And you don't need to uh, color them in. It's got a two-step. So you, as you can see, you stamp the outline. Uh, the butterflies here. You stamp the outline, and then you use the other stamp to with a different color of ink, and you stamp it on top of it. And it uh, gives you this look. So it looks like you colored it. It's so nice. All right. And um, so just before I go, because I know I don't know if I'll be able to come back on here tonight um, for another video, but I'm I'm really on a roll. Like I'd like to do more, but I only have the one day to talk to you guys. So if you want to see more, you can just join my Facebook group, and um, you'll get notifications when I go online to do a Facebook Live. This is one of our paper pumpkin kits. I turned it into a scrapbook layout. And this is my own design. I don't normally design by myself. <laughs> no, I like Pinterest. It gets all the ideas on there. That was the um, Christmas one. These adorable little gingerbread houses. They were actually to make gift card holders. So um, I seen a lady, uh, Rachel Tessman, she's really good at doing alternative projects with our paper pumpkin kits. And uh, I just changed the colors, but this is just exactly like, like the one she made. These are all gems that are, were in there. I'm actually gonna post um, these two sets on my group because I do have extra kits to make them. Um, so if you're a scrapbooker, you have like the basic supplies already, you can do this page, these pages at home. Uh, the, the four pages is the class for it is $30. And I, I will get the kits ready for pickup. So you can just come pick it up at the, in my mailbox when I uh, let you know. Um, this was another one of those. I can't remember what kit this was. I think, uh, I think it was a paper pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I got a blank. It's only a few months ago too. But uh, yeah, you put pictures on here. That was one. I did a Facebook Live on this one just a couple of days ago. It's on my group. I did this page and this card together. Easy to make. Um, let me just dig out some more pages. And then I promise I'll let you go. <laughs> These were Valentine's scrapbook page. It's in a plastic protector right now. Sorry if there's a shine to it. And then there, that was, it's all like, you know, from um, previous classes. The phone is closed, so I can't, I don't know if you want, to, if you can see it, two pages when they're side by side. Probably not. Uh, I want to do that. Oh, do you want to do those uh, four pages in ease? Um, let me... Well, I'll look back at the comments if I see anybody else. Um, I'll read the comments and reply to you on there. So let me know if you're interested in doing them. Like I said, it's $30 to do uh, the four pages. And um, I have enough to do, I think, four or five kits. These were fall pages. So if you go to um, apple picking or uh, at the uh, pumpkin patch, <laughs> I think that's how you call it. <laughs> you go picking up the big pumpkins. Nice uh, way to put your um, pictures in it to uh, write some notes. That one too oh, goes this way. Oh, the Valentine page. Um, yeah, specify because I did show a red and black one as well. Um, but I, I can post the picture on the uh, on my Facebook group. So go on Stampin' Joe. This one here. 
that I uh, really like this one with the poppies on it purple posy poppies and I made these pages because we actually went to Greek Isles on a cruise we went to Greece and Rome um, and it was with Stampin' Up! I had earned a trip. It was one of my... This was the third trip I went with. So, uh, I just love the the colors. Um, yeah, we've been to California. We've been to um, Alaska. We went to that cruise. And we went to Greek Isles. And then we would have went to Maui in July. But that has been postponed, of course, because of COVID. I was so disappointed. And now they, they they change the date to May, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen if they'll push the date if they have to cancel again or if they're just gonna say just hear some credit. I don't know. But we'll see. Alright. I think that's it. So if you have any questions, if you saw something, you wanna know how much it costs, uh, if you wanna place an order. You, uh, I'm going to have a, a prize draw Friday when this party is at the end. And um, there's different ways you can earn a ballot. There was, I, I posted it uh, about an hour ago. But um, I'm trying to remember what I wrote. There was one ballot if you to join my VIP group. There was a ballot, uh, two ballots, I think, if you liked and shared my page, the Facebook page. And the third one was if you, oh, if you're placing your first order with me or if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin that we showed today. And Tammy did today. She signed up for uh, the Paper Pumpkin. So you get uh, your name in the draw. You got three ballots in there. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and um, if there's some night owls in here, you might see me pop in later on. Who knows, because uh, even if you're not on here live, you can watch the replay. Um, all right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.